So things are really busy at the shop right now. I've got grinding, I've got welding, I've got all kinds of noise going on in the background. What I'm really excited about is my tubes came in today. Tubes that are connecting my manifolds to all the other hydraulics that are in the track base. The most basic hydraulic system is just a pump, some fluid, and an actuator. An actuator is just a thing that uses the hydraulic pressure to move something else. We're using valves to direct fluid to each actuator so we can move them all back and forth slower or faster. I've got all kinds of valves in the robot, from the arms, to the torso, to the legs, to the track base, to move fluid every which way. So the reason we're using hydraulics is because hydraulic power systems are really good at moving big, heavy things really fast and really smoothly. Most people see fluid pressure every day on the stuff that comes out of the faucet when they turn the handle. But our fluid is under a lot more pressure than that, about 4,000 PSI, somewhere around 100 times what you'd find in your kitchen sink. Normally, I'd use hose, and I've got the capability of making hose here. But the hose we're using is relatively big and hard to bend. So if I'm trying to jam a bunch of it into a small space, things get really, really difficult really quickly. Since our components are sitting still, tubes are the perfect solution for routing fluid around the engine. I have to have the tubes bent at an outside company because I can't do it here. But they can make the bends really tight, and the diameter is smaller than what I would use for hose. So I can put a whole bunch of tubes in a small space. I test fit it up. After a few little minor tweaks with a hammer, it all fit great. The only thing left to do is to start it up and see how everything works. In addition to getting everything test fit, I got some practice at my free throws and three pointers with the caps from the tubes and the fittings. 